Hey, how you guys doing? Okay, we're back and let's get this um, thing uh, rolling. Okay, I wanted to show you a couple games that I played. All right, let's take a look at here. Uh, let me see, I'm white. This is an okay one, but I think it's this one here. Can I... Where is it? Then? Let me see. I want to make sure I, I have this one correct. Oh, this one's a good one here. This one's a good one. And then I'll pull up one more. Because I want to get I wanted to get the correct ones for you guys to go over. Let's see here. No, we already went over that one. Did that one. Okay. We I'm white here. So check, check. So that that looks like that's an okay one. Um, no, I don't like that one. I wanted this one's really good. What do I think I already have that one? So I'll just turn this page this page into uh, puzzles page. Okay, I'll show you one that is most my most recent one. I just played like um, 17 minutes ago. Okay. Okay, let's do this thing. All right. See what I what I do is I set up for the the um the London system. I have to go to um, analyze mode. All right, there we go. Um. Okay. Yeah, then, oops. Ah, come back. All right. Uh, sometimes it doesn't want to work with me there. Okay, there, there, there. And this is kind of like, this is the, uh, how the London system's set up. So I play bishop d, uh, d3. He goes queen to uh, uh, b6. Uh, I go queen b4. This is actually standard kind of London patterns. Then I play there, and this is a real pain when it comes to that. But I probably could have just, um, at this point, I don't, I don't know. I think maybe just developing my knight would have been better. Oh, castles! So castles would be better here. Okay, that that's uh, not bad. took and so now I have an outside pass pawn I castle king side he goes there I keep going up the board I now pin it was there he pushes there and I'll, I'll show you that this right here is is my idea of again, just pushing on up I just I decided just to take just get that knight out of there because I want to keep my dark squared bishop, and the only way to kind of ensure that my dark squared bishop stays where it is is getting rid of the knight because the knight's the only piece that would have a potential of getting here. Or uh, let me see where'd be another spot here, here, here. You know, around this area to get rid of my uh, bishop. So by getting rid of the knight. I now secured my uh, this pawn to be promoted. I gotta tell you, I my idea here was this one was I was gonna play here, and then I realized that I had a better square back here. I'm like, oh, what did I do? And so if we were to put as a game what this game represented, it's forgiving yourself for uh, sometimes a mistake. So, when he moved up there, I just moved back. And I said to myself, you know what? It's going to be what it is. So, I just, I'm going over and he plays there. I take, now I have a uh, flight square to survive to. I played up there. 
he took. I queened. He played there. So interesting. This check is best. I was wondering how to execute this. Oh, snikes. If he takes here, you have a check there. So he can't. He can't go there. So this. There. Oh wow! You've got to love that. Well, I, I kind of did. I set up in uh, one already, but mine was a little longer, so I did there. He played there. Check. 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 Takes. Mate seven. So, so we can't take there. And then mate one. So that, that was my first game that was uh, a checkmate. So I wanted to show you guys that one. This one was also a check. It would have been a checkmate, but my opponent resigned. So I played e5, e6. And we did the French. And he did the advanced variation of the French. I'm going to analyze this. Right there. So I could have actually taken here. What would have happened if I had done that? He would have taken there. So I have to retreat back. And then if he plays here, you, just, you play smack right there. Okay. Yeah, very, very interesting for sure. So I took, takes. See, also, I gotta tell you, the key is if he moves, if you're, if the knight ever moves to, in the advanced variation, if the knight ever moves to e2. The uh, B B knight are a three. Then you take, but don't take till then. Otherwise, you're uh, you allow him to have a good spot to go to. So just keep that in mind. Bring my knight in, he moves back. Go there. See now, now I'm attacking the rook and the knight. So if he plays here, I can actually play there and threaten a lot of attack. And then that that's actually a takes and he, he he actually he should have blocked here and then I would have uh, taken 
and then if he's taken here you can actually take and, and fork so there's a tactic there but he didn't play that he played here and, and meet three ding and this is actually what would happen boom boom you never yeah you, know, you don't always every day get the ability to checkmate and sack your queen so not sack it but you know at the time it looked like it was so there's a lot of tactics in that one okay let's see what do we got here <sighs> That's, that was an interesting uh, game, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Let's see, how do we have here? Doo -doo -doo. Let's do, we'll just do one while, just for a second. I just gotta stay calm, stay focused. If he plays here, we just develop our knight. Oh, he's always playing there. Okay, we just do the standard line of the London. We just do Harry, and this this is just a preparatory move, so that um, if he was to like attack, we we have this we have our opponent. So this is interesting because um, I'm actually gonna castle on this thing queenside. And uh, keep an eye on this structure, yeah. You never really want to have your queen on the same diagonal as the king. So I'm not sure if, I mean file. So I'm not sure if I want to uh, castle or not. I could always move my king over and bring my... Yeah, I'm just going to castle, get my last piece. Hi, how you doing? Hi, Fox. And so... hate having to give up my bishop, but... Oh, so he's going after the queen. Interesting. Yeah, he got rid of uh, my uh, my bishop, but for the cost of his um, knight, so I don't I don't know if that was worth uh, that. Wow, he really weakened his king side pretty much pretty bad there. Okay, so he's. Uh, Getting ready to bring his queen down here, trade off, so hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna play uh rook to G uh G one. Kinda get this a flowing up the board. See what we uh see what we can do. Yeah, attack, attack on the king side. Hmm. 
get the king out of here for sure. I do not want the king. I do not want the king on this diagonal here. I mean, f rant, file, sorry. So let's see what we got here. What do we got? What do we got? Check. Moves up, takes. Hmm. If he pushes here, I'm, I'm going to push. Keep this position closed. I have to with all my might. I don't want him to uh, open the position. Yeah, I was thinking that as well, but I just want to... I have to activate. Yeah, excellent. Okay. So, okay. So he wants to, yeah... I think that's that's the best I can really do at this moment is actually uh yeah, I think I, I think that's what I have to do. His king's stuck oh snikes. Oh sweet. I can just take there. Why don't I do that? Should have done that to begin with. Hmm. Okay, Doki. Oh boy. Boy, 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 boy. Just retreat my uh, queen back. You know, there's really no reason for it to be on that uh, attacking file, so it'd be ridiculous to do that. Yeah, the thing's gonna go doing. I wanna go for an attack, but do I have enough to do that? I don't think so. I'm gonna have to, uh, What do I want to do? I'll just I'll just double up there because I'm I'm gonna go for an attack on the on the queen side. Oh, wow! He did that. That's insane.
this back. Oh, wait a second. Ah, uh, no. Okay, that was a close one. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing any more. <laughs> okay, well, we'll start into some puzzles. Hey, flagged him on that one. I was winning, though. Wait a second, let's go over that. Hold on. You know what? Let's, let's learn from that. Yeah. But I wanted to win, so I you know what I guess I guess you know what time is considered a win. One sec. But and you know what we don't want to be proud. Oh, okay, not a problem. Hey, I'm I what we're learning. It's all about learning. And then we'll go after this game. We'll go over that so that we can see where I know I was winning. So it's just I needed to find out so I could be quicker. Sometimes I I hate I hate so I dislike sometimes uh, you know winning on time but it's a win. Like Bobby Fisher did not like draws. He, he says he, uh, it was in Pawn Sacrifice. Uh, his friend said uh, <clears throat> that the these two guys were saying that uh, she has the most yeah. Uh, that is he going for a draw on, on game uh, three and uh, that one uh, his friend says he hates draws so I just found that oops turn that off I found that kind of funny it was in pawn sacrifice they had a really good actor uh, playing Bobby uh, in that one Bobby Fisher Oh, he's black. Uh oh, then we better we oops, we better um, turn the board so that we can uh, look at it from to uh, to grow uh, to to grow ran. Ah, sorry, I can't pronounce his name very. Some reason right now I'm not pronouncing. <laughs> I think it's like Tigrovian or ran or some. I am sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but. Okay, so you gotta say that um, expansion, expansion. You know, sometimes you have to do that. Like, remember what Jeremy Silman said was, if you can trade off your bad, uh, your bad bishop for like a knight or something that's more active, like in this position. I know, and that that's the cool thing about uh, Petrosian. Ah, there we go, Petrosian. I said it right. Ugh, finally, I got it out. Okay, I got it. I got it said correctly. Yay! Well, his light squared bishop got traded off for White's uh, um, better uh, piece, which is the knight. So, in theory, Petrosian is winning because. Uh, it's a end game where the knights rule supreme, and so he has uh, 
the knights and so they'll be able to dance around the board uh, doing all their uh, you know charges and attacks and all that so let's see here let's see there there takes takes Oh, so he's locking this. I gotta say that is a wonderful way of doing it. He's got all the pawn structure almost on a light squares, and that's cool. And it's a bad idea if he takes here. This is a really bad idea. So he takes back, and when the bishop retreats, we'll say here, you, you have a check. Uh, let me see. Is, is it a check better with? Oh no, it's a check. I'm my 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 apologies there. Not that it's actually check here. And then if there, then you can actually double up your rooks. I mean your uh, that, and it's basically all over. You you basically you'd have to play. You could actually take here, and then when when the king moves. Yeah, actually play. Let me see here. I think you could play back, and then if, and I don't really know if there's any way. Well, maybe he can uh, s exchange like that. So, is it worth taking the knight? I guess you have to take the knight at that point, don't you? Huh? Yeah, I think you have to at this point. Yeah, I think I I believe that probably takes there is best, because you want to get as much material as you can. Oh, okay. Let's see. I let me see here. Oh, I'm, oh wow! Yeah, we gotta do our idea. Oh, so if he moves over here, so that that's the wrong move. The queen move is wrong, so it, it's the rook move. Castles, and then now now you're. I uh, see. Huh? Very peculiar. Why why he would sacrifice potentially sacrifice. Or he did sacrifice the position. Let's see six. <laughs> wow. That's some power there, power attack. Plays there. Yeah, there's no coming back. That it's it's game over. It's a GG. Because if he takes here, I believe that's mate. Wow, you gotta love it. It's. It's the uh, Arabian mate type of uh, way of doing it. It's the knight and the rook, the Arabian mate. You gotta love that. Ash, it's I, it's not an open smother mate, is it? No, an open smother mate would actually have a rook here, and then this bishop would be open. No, that wouldn't be right either. Me, huh? Well, there's there's a couple there's uh like there's different type of smother mates. That that was a really good game for that P Petrogian played. He he was able to sacrifice a rook, and he basically pried the uh, king's defenses apart, and then destroyed him. And then yeah. 
And it shows right there that it's not about piece count because the game's closed. Yeah. He potentially could have, let me see here. So it's saying that this actually holds the position. Let, let's see if we're right. Okay, c5, h5, and then the bishop comes in. And so he has to basically sacrifice something to... Let's see if he takes there. Oh, the infiltration. Well, you have infiltration, so... And it gives, you, gives him counterplay, so you can't... You can't open that up, so you're just going to have to uh, bring a mega attack. You also have th that there, so you're in a, kind of a pickle right now. And then now you can take. And then takes. And now you jam your knight in there, and you're blocking, you're defending and blocking at the same time. Yeah, it was toast at that point. He was uh he was a goner. If he plays something take, so you know, so what? You know, big whoop de doo, right? Blacks up a whole piece. Do you think he's worried about trading down? I don't think so. Yeah, he's like he's like this is hilarious. It's like really you you're you're giving you're giving him pawns to munch on like Pac Man. Come on. You think you think he's gonna fall for that? And then in comes in more material, munch, munch, munch. Is it I the computer's doing the repeating thing twice. It's annoying when it does that. Really annoying. Okay, what does it want? A. So, we'll just go there. And you push. He's trying to draw the the queen away. I think. Let me see. If the queen takes, what happens? Oh, you play here, and now there's no more blocking. Oh, I see what that is. That's a sneaky ploy. Because if you play here, there's no more blocking of there. The queen is the only thing that's sealing up the that wound right there on b3. So, so he that's why he doesn't take. So he plays here, and so do we take or do we play knight? I'm not sure. I don't really like that because. Well, maybe we could do that. Hmm. Interesting. So the computer likes E takes better. Hmm. So the rook slides over there, and boom, baby. You gotta love this. He's trying to go for... Oh, boy. Let me see here. Trying to get that pawn taken off. Now, now that's protected forever, so that's a critical mistake there. It's like, oh boy. So now the knight can actually just dance around the board going do 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 Now he's got that. The, oops, sorry, he's got here. Potentially he's got there and and there are it's got here, here, and there, you know, a lot of different dances. He's dancing to his own tune. Uh, or he can get the pawn pushing. Either way, you know, white's a winner. Yeah. I'm just taking a look to see what potentially could be played. Yeah, he's he's gonna try to implant something there. Okay. Let's go to move uh uh seventeen here. Like what, like what we were talking about. 
That's an interesting move for sure. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. So on move 18. So we're, we're thinking about h5 on move 18. That is an interesting uh, move for sure. That gives white a slight advantage. Three takes here, we take back. Then the knight comes in. Well, potentially, do we have anything here? Oops, my bad there. Gotta get rid of that. Uh, don't don't look at that. <laughs> uh, we'll play here. Oh, he's got that there. Okay, I see that now. No B6 there. Oh, for white. So H4. I think that equalizes, if I'm not mistaken. Here, I don't. I don't know if uh, black. I mean, white gets any real counter on that one. Well, potentially, maybe you can win there. But let's see the tactical. Oh. Oh, that's, uh, sorry, I did a, uh, that's funny. I got turned backwards. Uh, so H, oh, gotcha. I gotcha. H5, yeah. I mean, H5, that's, and then takes. And then queen takes. But the problem is, one piece can't check, uh, checkmate the black king so even if he does try to fortify the position you know so maybe he's thinking about putting oh he's thinking about going for uh, all out smackdown He's got, it's got, white's got a. Yeah, so black, gotcha. Probably there. And bishop there. And then boom. Oh, he's, I want to see what happens if he plays here. Anything? Okay, so he actually wins, and then there, and then queen takes. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I see that now. Yeah, it's better for... Um, so rook to c7 is the idea and then you bring the rook over oh is it queen or rook we'll just do queen this time then king up okay probably takes there hmm interesting to lock down the position so it takes 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 so he's trying to get everything into the fray yeah there's no there's really no hope for uh, Petrosian ha has a problem here so you'd have to go back Uh, 
then the queen comes over. That's kind of kind of awkward that Black would walk right into a, uh, a smackdown. Yeah, he can't he can't play here because boom, baby, there's mate in one. So he's got to retreat back. Knight takes, queen takes. Queen there. It's like I don't think there's really any uh, hope for Black in this position. I don't see anything. Gotta do like in passing, so yeah, that's the only thing that would uh, and potentially maybe there. I don't know. I don't think. Yeah, it's toast. He's Petrosian would have been. Uh, he would have gone down. This game would have ended uh, really sadly. Because he would take here, white would, white would take, and then after a king takes, you have a pin here, and it's like, what did we just, what did we just walk into, and it's, and then you have, you have that, and potentially, yeah, you can get your uh, bishop out of there, and so. Yeah. Oh, it's rook a1. Oh, sorry. A is rook a8. That's fine. Hey, you know what? We're here to learn. We're we're a team. It's all about learning. So, okay. So let's see. Do you wanna do you wanna look at like any other game? Do you have a game you'd like another game, or do you wanna do some puzzles? Cause uh, oh no, that's right. We were gonna look at this one. What was I thinking? I'm I'm funny. I I I was gonna look at this one. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're gonna look at this one here. Okay. Yeah, I gotta I gotta remember. I have to. We have to go over this game here. To let's get to the critical point in the game. Where is that? I believe it's right. No, it's equal at this point. So we place there. So at this point, it's I'm up a whole pawn. So if he takes here, I take with. Why don't not take with a knight? Let's see. Oh, because of there. Okay, gotcha. Take there. Any place here. Yeah, I should have. I was looking at that. That's an interesting move for sure. Okay, so C uh, C five is that. I mean C four is the correct move in that scenario. Well, let's see here. It says this. Oh wow. So that's why. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So that that's why that. Uh, 
Okay, I was thinking that. Yeah. I was just looking at this position. So I took right. I did take correctly. I was wondering if I took correctly. So I played right with that move. That's right. That's right. Oh, so pushing the pawn here wins on the spot. Bishop takes at that point. Okay, and I'm up a whole entire piece at that point. Okay. Let's see. At this point, it's four pawns. I can see why, because he plays there and... I could actually push, but then a bishop takes. Okay, I have a pass pawn that, that's going to end up queening. So here is push. Okay, so it's actually the um, pass pawn that wins on the day. And then bishop. Oh, wow, rook comes over and takes. Snikes. And then you know what? I just get a, I just get a piece. For nothing. Right up there. Then I take. Because I'm going to lose this anyways. Okay. I knew there was something in that position. I knew there was something that I slightly missed. I took I took correctly there. so, But I inaccurately took here. Yeah, so th this is when I did my speed to win, so. But we got to see that uh, part that was tactically, so. So let's, uh, we'll do some, t we'll do some puzzles. Okay, I'll be right back. Just take a look at the puzzle. I'll be right back.
Let's see here. Let's take a look. <laughs> so rook and two knights. Okay, here I'm gonna put my queen there. Okay, now let's set up for white. And remember, yeah, we gotta think um, long distance, but not not too complicated. Cause they, I don't think they make them like super duper complicated, but they make them far out so that you have to analyze pretty deep. H2, interesting. I like that move, but let's see, does it, does it have anything that we could, uh, let's see, if we play check here, let's say he comes up here, so he comes up here, let's say he does it play our little uh, fun attack move. I think we still win the queen if I'm not mistaken at this point with queen takes uh, g2 check. Then if king goes to here, the queen could actually take and it's mate. The queen could take here and it's mate. So we have to watch that. So here, here, here. That's there. So let's see here. After takes there. You'd have to take with. Uh, actually, you can't take my bad there. Wait a second. Oh, I'm missing a knight. Da, 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 da. He can take. Yeah, I think at, I think at this point, I think taking might be uh, too uh, heavily. Uh... Actually, what we could no drat. If only I was thinking that if only. This knight wasn't here because we could have actually played back here when the king was here so that when it goes back we snap off the rook but this knight is here. We got to be careful of a discovery too because he's got his own little sweet check, a discovery check. Okay, so let let's let's calculate our queen to h2. Queen h2. And so the king comes up to f2. I believe we potentially could actually take this pawn here. Now that I think about it, because if we play the queen takes pawn, I'm oh, sorry, here, up, queen takes, come on, work with me arrows. There, 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 king takes knight. And if king takes the knight, guess what happens? He's now in a pin, hooray. So now we can actually play queen takes rook, uh, queen takes rook here, and we've won a whole rook, and we're basically going, oh, what's the king? We're basically going for the knockout, too. So, yeah, he's, he's up a creek without a paddle here. So he'd have to actually move, actually, he really can't, he has to go... He has to either, let me see here, what could he actually do here? 
Pick it up. This is, I think, I that's, yeah. Uh, this is the queen h h2 is the correct move that that's the that's the move that starts the combo the unstoppable take takedown and so let's get our uh, let's get everything back in place and let's do this thing let's let's move it in Wow, I can't believe he actually took. Let's go and see what would happen if he didn't. Let's see if my idea is right. Yay, it's right. I'm oh, sorry, our idea. Uh, let, let's see if the idea that we proposed is correct. Yay, we, we're, we did it. This is so stellar here. And now we're gonna win even more material. So when he moves up here, I think we could take we can check here and I believe if he goes there we can actually take this pawn. Yeah, he's in such a problem right now. He's in check. Because he's back right in the same box. And at this point, the bishop takes and then boom baby. It's toast. It's toast. Smack daddy. You gotta love that. Alrighty. Okay, I gotta turn my board around now. Do do do. Okay. Wish this had the, a board uh, turner like on chess.com. It does have the ability for you to change the board around so that if you wanted to look at it from different angles, you could. So maybe uh, maybe they can uh, next patch have that happen for this. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Let's get let's get everything set up for our attack here. I like I like that was a great find. Great find on uh, um, Queen to H two. Great find on that one, guys. I'm gonna set this up. Boom, boom, boom. I gotta, I gotta get all the pawns set up. Mm -mm -mm. Without pawns, there is no defense for the king. So they do come in handy, especially when there's queening involved too. So yeah, it's uh, they've come in really handy. At the beginning, they're somewhat not highly looked upon, but when it gets to the end game, the the pawns become the champions of the game. Same with the king. Okay, here we go. So he moves from here to there. Okay. Why can't we just take? Is there something that we're missing and why we can't just take? Trying to see if there's if there's anything we could do. Okay, if we uh, this knight was here, the knight was here, so that he gave up these two squares, actually these three squares, and it could be a potential clear just waste of time in general. Or potentially, we may we might be able just to jump our uh, our knight to uh, 
why go for a knight when you can win the entire army, right? I mean, win a rook, huh? Because then, uh, with our knight moves, we're now threatening um, to win two rooks, a rook. Yeah, because this if he plays if he plays there, we can actually uh trade off and then the knight would win a uh a rook and then if the knight tried to do something, we also have that hanging. Okay, after so after that, king h8, queen takes, queen, g takes f, bishop takes, checkmate. Oh, okay, that, that works. The only sitch is, what if he doesn't intercept, what if he plays there? So what if he plays um, f6? Oh, I got it. We win the queen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we win the queen. Yeah. I'm trying to see, is there anything that could. Well, potentially he could move his knight back there. So he could potentially play knight to. Uh, after he moves. Well, if he does that, we win the queen, don't we? So here, here, we win the queen with check. So any move wins the queen, doesn't it? But what if we play there? Huh. If we played here, he plays queen to uh, e e five, queen e five. Not sure. And if we check there, we check here. King moves to h8. Hmm. Don't really see any finishing. I don't really see any finishing execution on that after that move. Because we would have to play knight takes bishop, check, and then if he plays uh, f takes to open up the, an attack on, oops I almost forgot my king, 
uh, on with his rook coming down this way. Um, we have queen takes queen, knight takes queen, bishop takes knight, and I think we've only equalized at that point. I don't think we get anything else but equal position. Well, I guess, no, we're in equal position at this point. We have same pawns, pawn count, same rook, same bishop, everything is equal. Yeah. So let's reset up that. Let's take another look. We'll see if the uh, knight move to win the two rooks might be the idea. Let's take a look on at that. Let's see here. Do I have everything set up right? Yeah. I let and also guess what the knight move does too? It stops this. The knight move actually stops that. If we play here, uh, we're threatening to checkmate, and so Then if he plays uh, queen, queen there, we play queen takes queen, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, uh, uh, knight takes rook on f8, it takes rook f8, after that takes, knight takes rook f8, king takes, uh, pawn takes, and I believe we are up a an exchange if I'm not mistaken at this point yeah we're up an exchange at that point with this move here let's take a look again let's take a look let's reset up that's an idea that we proposed so let's take another look at the ideas that we're proposing. Okay, do I have everything set up right again? Yes, I. Yes, we do. Okay. The reason also knight to uh, um, e6 works is because even if he does take here, we still have mate. Do you see how that you see how that works now? This right here, our potentially that that looks like that that so that would be so nice that if it actually did work. But this is the only move. Well, we actually if we did that, he could take our knight here. Yeah, and we, uh, we want to go for the knockout, and that actually wins. It threatens mate, so it actually stops that. And uh, he has to really play here. So... So when he plays there, we'd play rook takes rook, and then a, a knight takes rook, and then if knight takes, I'll show you. If we play here, he plays here, we take, he takes, we take, he takes, and then we take. And I still, I think he would, we would be up 
a material. Let me see there, there, here takes, 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 takes. Yeah, we're up in exchange. We're up in exchange again. And so the the knight to e. Yeah, the knight to uh, e6 actually works. Oops, I put my knight back. And if queen to uh, yeah, if knight here, queen there, we have. Uh, First of all, you want to do uh, queen takes queen. I think at that point, do we do do we do queen takes queen? If we do queen takes queen, we'd have to play at that point queen takes queen. Pawn takes queen, uh, g pawn takes the queen, knight takes rook on f8, knight takes the bishop, knight takes bishop, and then our knight that's on f, f8, not a knight on f8 takes this bishop, and then when pawn takes pawn, we are, yes, we are, um, Actually, I think we can. I think we actually, at this point, we can actually win the knight after all that exchange because the knight's isolated here, and if he tries to retreat there, we can actually bring our uh, other rook from here to there over. And now we're pinning the the knight right here to the rook that's there, and we would actually win material. He'd have to play here. Interesting for sure. Potentially a, a very interesting. Yeah, that is interesting for sure. For sure, for sure. Let's, we don't really want to. We're, we're not. We don't really want to complicate the position. We got to hold it. Uh, just keep it. Um, straight in view what we want to do and it has some we know it has something to do with mate so yeah it is it is interesting I know that's that is an interesting uh, move. See here, here takes so if we play here, here, there takes. I guess potentially we could take with our bishop, couldn't we? So if we play knight here, knight to e, uh, e6, queen f6, queen takes queen, g takes queen, bishop takes, pawn, pawn takes pawn, Knight takes, I mean, bishop takes rook, rook takes bishop. I think, I think he's up a piece at this point. Hmm. Very Actually, no, he's not, because then we can actually take. It's really, it's, he's got two bishops, we got two rooks. 
So I'm not sure if Well, if he does night, oh, that is true. Wow, even better. Hey, I didn't see that. Nice. I think I, you're right on that because the queen does def Yeah, so we can't do that move. Eh, drat. So recon reconsider. We have to reconsolidate our ideas again and go in for more of a uh, not so complicated of a line here. Hmm. We'd, st we'd just be up equal material with that. We'd actually be down material there. Hmm. Well, we haven't tried uh, knight c6. So knight c6. The knight c6 covers... Uh, e5 so it's forced uh, play here huh hmm what happens though after I'm thinking maybe we're looking at this all. No, we ha that is a mistake. No, that does win material, doesn't it? Yes, that does win material. Huh. No, no, not a problem. I gotta tell you, I have a board set up below my monitor that has an arm, and so I'm I'm calculating on the boards. And you, don't worry, you you don't have a board that you're calculating on, so. I'm I'm just I'm setting up the pieces, resetting it up, looking at them, resetting it up. So don't don't worry about that. I'm looking at let's let's cat we forgot one move for the knight to play. Knight c6. Knight c6 is a really interesting move. It attacks the queen and it covers this square here. This square is the square that the queen would love to block with. So if we go knight c6, it attacks there, and we still get the sweet idea of dropping our knight to c uh, uh, to e7 as well. So let's calculate here. He, if he plays there, we win the queen. So he's going to have to play here. Then after he plays uh, the queen there, we take so queen he has to do that to guard and then we play queen takes queen takes queen a g takes not not I'm sorry not queen takes let's see no I yeah I'm sorry if he does for I apologize I uh, was ahead of myself too too far too too far okay here here and at this point we uh, when he intercepts we want to play knight knight to uh, e7 check which drives the king to h8 then we play queen takes f6 at this point queen takes f6 a g takes f6 bishop takes f6 after here bishop takes and then we checkmate him on f uh, f6 with our bishop did, did you guys get all that? Do you want me to repeat that again? Hmm. 
It's actually uh, knight to c6 is the correct move. It's actually, <laughs> who'd have thunk, uh, moving off to the side is is actually the correct move. Who'd have thunk, huh? So we'll, let's let's see if we're right. Boom shakalaka boom. See, it's those. I gotta tell you, we we complicate it way too much. So that teach that tells us, and I'll I'll show you the line too. Let let's let's do the line here here. Here, turn off the engine. I don't want, don't go back. I don't want the engine on. We're gonna go back. Okay, we're gonna start this line without the engine on. Boom shakalaka, boom. You gotta love that. And that's mate. Now we'll turn the engine back on and we'll see if uh, if we have that. So we got that one right. He moves there. We take. And I don't think he could take at this point. He'll try taking the bishop. Then we play knight takes, takes, and then we just drop back and we're at, we'd be up uh, all this material. So we're up enough to win the entire game. And this is basically what would happen. So, isn't that isn't that such a sweet? It's like the subtle move, you know. It's the subtle move, knight to c6. It covers the weak point. This is the point here. The that's the uh, spot that we had to get covered. So we'll go on to the next one. Good find, guys. Good find. Good job. Yeah, we have to keep up on uh, this plot, uh, this nice work, and we'll get we'll get farther down the road, even farther, because we're using the mind that the Lord has given us, and we're doing it, getting it stronger, stronger, stronger. <laughs> Oops, I better get this bishops off. Ah, this is annoying. I'm gonna just take off all these. Kind of just reset all this up. This gets annoying sometimes when there's pieces. I have to set up the pawns first because otherwise it's like the pieces don't match at that point. So there, there, there. Okay, I have I have all the pawns set up right now. Let's let's add the pieces. I need a bishop, and I think I'm done for white at this point. Yeah, white's all set up, so let's set up the... I'm setting up my board down here, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing. So I have... Uh, and, oh, I forgot a queen there. That's that's interesting. Uh, here. Look over there. Bishop here. Okay, I think I got it all set up now. Double bishops. There, 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 there. There, there, there. There, 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 there. Yes, perfect. We're all set up now. Sweet. Okay, here we go. I was fo focusing too much on that. Swallowed incorrectly. Ah. There we go. <clears throat> Whoa. That's an eye opener there. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's see here. <coughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, back in the fray. <clears throat> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because we, we have a... <clears throat> hmm. I was looking at something like that, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> hmm. So, Bishop... So we're saying bishop takes d, uh, rook takes d, <coughs> rook takes d, d takes, Yeah, I see that now. <clears throat> hmm. Well, if we played bishop takes, he could actually just right away take. <clears throat> and then it, it, then I guess, I, I see what you're saying. I guess we could take there, queen takes, and then we slide the rook over. I'm not sure about that. Let's see here. Hmm. We could play rook takes rook right away. If we play rook takes rook, well, then he could play knight. He can actually play knight takes. So we can't do that. Not yet. So if we played bishop takes, bishop takes knight, <coughs> then he, he could play uh, c takes d3, then we can play um, rook takes after takes there, rook takes f4. If queen takes f4, we slide our rook from b1 to f1. And he really only has one check that he can do. <coughs> and I think at that point, let's see if we move up. I think we can just move our king straight up at that point after, after the here, takes, takes. And then he checks here, we just move our king straight up, but I think we're safe at that point. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. I think, I believe, I, I believe the idea of the bishop taking the knight is correct, though. I, I, I see that that, that makes, that's the most scene of the lines so so yeah he will have to he I don't know if he'll take with the bishop uh, let's see if we place here this has to be the start of the line because that that's the most forcing it threatens to actually win material here but the only sitch we have, no, if he plays there, <clears throat> we win the rook. So his bishop, he's pinned two ways. So this takes actually is the first step in uh, in the in that line. Yeah, and then we take there, 
And then remember, we play rook takes uh, f4. Rook takes f4. Queen takes f4. Rook f. Uh, then if he checks here, here. And I don't really think there's really anything he could do right now. <clears throat> he might try throwing something in like that, but that only ends up with checkmate, so. So he'll probably try something like that. But in that case, we just do a very not nice thing. <laughs> we just push the ball and it's like, whoa, no, no getting out of that. Nope. So he's, he's not going to be able to do that. And he can't play there because boom, mate. So we have him, we have him totally pinned down. He's done. There it's all over but the crying. Let's see here. Yeah, best is takes. Actually, they're saying here. <clears throat> well, then we just retreat out, and I think we're up. Uh, what are we up? I think we're up at more or less likely we're up activity. So, but I like my idea of uh, of takes here which is actually the least favored line. And we're, we could actually take there and then if he plays there. That's very peculiar. Why doesn't he just take the rook? Oh, because of the retreat. So you get more by taking there. I see that because you're still hanging in there with that with the check there and so if he plays here you can actually win a pawn instead of there okay yeah that that's not fun we'll do we'll we'll do one more this is this we're doing good today we're doing really good let's keep this up let's keep it a rolling <clears throat> <laughs> oh, we're going into an end game. We love end games. Um, these are these are really fun end games. Yeah, he's totally toasted at that point. Okay, if you guys have anything else that you wanted to, you know, add to talking of the equations, we're more than happy to uh, put in there and we'll take a look at all the stuff. Yeah, this is, uh, we're having a great uh, str uh, stretch of green, guys. Let's keep it up. We're we're on we're on the up and up on our road to 2,500 and beyond. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're on a we're on a streak right now of green. Let's do this thing. Okay, the rook was right there. So he gave up this open file. Um, he put himself right alongside the king. So he's more infiltrated into the position now. So. Hmm. I think we can actually win a rook here. Good job. Yay. I think, okay. I believe that if we play bishop to f, uh, f2, bishop f2, if rook takes f2, we check here. And then if rook comes back, we take, king takes, king takes, and we're up a whole exchange. Bishop f2 is just this 
destructive at that point. And if he takes with his king, we win a rook for a bishop. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yep. That's the... Let's see, is there anything else that potentially he has that... <clears throat> Well, he could move his king to h uh, h3. Well, if he does that, then we just snap off the rook. He has to take, and so we win. We win a rook for Ashley. He went. We win a rook, and he gets nothing for that. So that that's the that is the move that starts the chain. Are you guys with me on bishop to f2? Bishop at well, there's a. I think that I I don't that's the only move that I could see that wins that that wins everything because there's nothing he could do any other move um, allows him out of the box that's the only thing. That's the only thing that actually seals up, and he he'll lose. We end up getting a rook. So that's that has to be the only that is the only move that is the only move at this point. There's nothing else that works. Anything else is too slow and allows him to reconsolidate because that move h1 to h4 was a blunder or an error. Sorry, an inaccurate move that costed him the game. It looks forcing, but it was wrong. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. So you guys want to give this a go? Because I believe that that's the answer, 100%. I'm like 100% on that one. Are we all in this? Are we all in this 100%? I'm, I'm 100% in. What you guys think? Are you ready? Yep, let's go for it. Boom. Only two. Ah. That's okay. Let's see what we got. We'll do uh, <clears throat> one more. That was a... Uh, fast one so let's see if we'll do one more on that do, 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 do. <laughs> So we're doing great, guys. We're doing great. We're, we're at a we're on a streak, and we're gonna continue going up, up, up. Cause we're not we're not gonna move till we see it. And then when we're sure of a move, we'll explain it until we're totally sure of it. Okay, let's see here. Very, very interesting. I'd love to play there, but the only problem is rook takes and we lose a queen. But, <clears throat> do we lose a queen, though? Let's see here.
That's what I'm thinking. F takes G6. He's most likely gonna... Oh, you think he's gonna take with Rook takes? I don't know. I don't know if he'll take Rook takes. Let me see if he... He might, because then if we take back here... Oops. Gotta be careful with that. Takes, takes. So, okay. So here, here, here. Then his rook takes pawn. So rook takes pawn. Bishop and then Bishop takes uh, Bishop takes uh, uh, here King takes and it's pinned. And if King takes, nope, 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 nope. We don't win enough right there. It's Nikes. Nope, nope, nope. We gotta we gotta recons reconsolidate everything again. Maybe we're doing something wrong. I feel that we have we have a move sequence that's out of whack here. I think we have something out of out of uh, out of joint right now. Let's see here. Uh, we got to put his other rook back. There has to be something that we're missing. We could push this pawn here all the way up. Let's see, what did he take? So he took a pawn there. Okay, if we, all right, so if we, we could potentially. Oh, I see. He could check there. Snikes. And rook takes. Rook takes. Rook takes. So we have two rooks versus and a bishop versus a rook. And no, that's not. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Yeah, we do. I, I looked at that. <clears throat> That's exactly right. We do. So... I was hoping to play something like that, but I don't think there's enough... Uh, Or potentially, maybe we have bishop, uh, bishop g2. Just one sec, I'll be right back. We gotta keep looking at this.
Yeah, exactly. I agree that longer games do help you with uh, with your play before you do the five minutes. Otherwise, it's you're not getting the full understanding of a plan. And that that's the that's the whole thing. And um, listen to like tapes on you know like YouTube they have some really good ones Ginger GM's are really good our Grandmaster Simon Williams is really good to listen to um, I'm not exactly sure I, I think that and then St. Louis Chess Club also has some really good uh, uh, teachers that you can listen to as well so those are two really good sites that you can actually go on to that are online and that uh, you can learn from and I, I believe Ally Chess also has like some training stuff also like practice that you can work on too so they have a lot of good stuff let's see let's see what what am I what am I missing here <clears throat> no kidoki So here we go. Interesting. I like that. That makes perfect sense. Let's 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 do that because if he takes your I think that's right now that I good find there, Fox. That's an excellent find because if he takes now we can actually play uh King takes. F8. See how simple those those ideas really are. You just move the king over to F8, and now the queen's being attacked. The rook's checking. The rook would have to take here. We have a back rank mate idea. That's a uh, yeah. It's also there's um, if you're interested in openings. I think I don't know if I'm pronouncing the gentleman's name correctly. John. Uh, uh, Grandmaster John Null. I, I I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he's got a um, openings modern chess openings um, book, and it's full of like all the different opening lines that you'd like to look up, and they're all up to date. So, if you would like to go, uh, you know, study openings. Also, there's good openings online. You, if you're more visual, there's more uh, stuff online too. <clears throat> okay, let's. See. I I really I think that uh, that idea is a hundred percent right because if he plays here, we can actually take. He'll have to actually take here. And if he takes there. Okay, I think in this line he's gonna have to uh, take with the rook, otherwise he loses the whole house. And uh, oops, I gotta put the bishop. Where's my bishop? There it is. So, yeah, that that this move uh, is correct here. I don't know if he'll play here. I don't think he'd play there. I'm thinking more of either rook or queen takes is what he's going to play. So I'm thinking that if we take here, he's going to play rook takes. Rook takes g uh, g6. And then at that point, we play rook takes rook, rook takes rook, check, king comes up, we have uh, queen takes rook, queen takes rook, queen takes queen, check, king uh, slides over. And I don't believe he can do any more checks. Maybe he has a check there, and then we can actually run away with our uh, with uh, our king, and we're we're kind of safe. So and we'd have to move here. All we could do is if he checks, yeah, we'd have to move there, and then he can intercept. Yeah. I don't think he has perpetual. 
that that idea makes uh, sense. So let's go let's go with it. Oh wow, he he took. That's an incredible error. That's an error, a huge one. He had, he shouldn't have taken. His best opportunity was to take with the rook. Man, 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 man. That's 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 a blunder right there. That, that loses on the spot. Can't believe he did that. Man, 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 man. That's not correct. <laughs> For sure, that that actually hurts him worse. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's get. I need a drink of water real quick. Because um, taking with the king is the next idea in, in the session. <coughs> So, because that, that then puts the threat of everything on the the queen. I think we're up material at this point, too, after all this. Let's see, taste, taste, root takes. Yeah, he doesn't want to take there. So, let's see, this line takes, root takes G. <clears throat> And I believe that taking here is the correct move sequence, yeah. Then rook takes rook. I mean rook takes pawn. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Boy, this is this is an interesting sitch for sure. I'm trying to see if uh Yeah, and then yeah, after after we're done this one, I'll analyze those lines that I got to log. We really can't check because the queen would take there. Huh. <clears throat> we do have a uh, interesting queen f7. And that threatens to actually checkmate. It pins the rook to the queen, so if we can trade down, we win. I was thinking there, but <clears throat> I think he, I don't know if he could actually, I think he might be able to play, no, if he plays, he can't play check there. No, he could play, my bad, there. He could actually play check there, but anyway, if we do it here. Here, there, over, and then we have that, and that. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Rook D1. And then we do have check, don't we? Then we have then we have a potential checkmate as well with the rook sliding over. Who this is a this is an interesting sitch for sure. I don't know if it's me. I think he can actually run here. Let's see. If we checked here, he moved up. We check here, he moves up. We check, he moves over. We could check at this point here. 
he moves up, we win, we win, um, we win a piece there, we win a pawn. We just start gobbling up the the whole entire forces, and it's sad for him. We're so close. <clears throat> We're so close. I don't want to uh, blunder it away. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Queen F. The only sitch though is he has. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know because he's got a check there. Let's see if we moved over and he checks on. Uh, if we move over here, he could check. We do have King up here. Maybe that does work now that, I, now that we think about it. Cause that, that is a double attack at that point, isn't it? Of the queen and the rook at the same time. So he would have to play uh, queen back up here. Or back here again, back, back to where it was. Boy, this is a sitch, isn't it? Actually, if if we go like this, he takes there, we take, and if he goes, um, E8 there, we checkmate him. So he'd have to come from here all the way over to protect that pawn. And then we have the game. Oh boy. Oh boy, 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 boy. This is, this is intense here. I'm trying to see which line actually uh, wins though. Because if we check, he can actually move up here. Then if we, uh, and then if we, uh... oh yeah, that does cost some sitch. Okay, so here, queen c uh, c5, check. <clears throat> hmm. I think we end up having to do <clears throat> no it's not mate we just we just move our king over and it, uh, if we if we did this here and he checked here we just move our king over the queen right here guards G and the bishop guards this whole checking so it's not mate <clears throat> I don't know if we I, I think it I think it works out exactly the same guys if we check or not I don't think I don't think it matters I don't I don't think it really much matters if we play here first or that I think it's 
I think this this is most forcing because we start trading down, but <clears throat> and it does threaten me, so it kind of pacifies his queen for a while. <clears throat> We'd have to at this point. Okay, if we played here, he plays there. We take here. He's got check down here. I think. If I'm not, I think, let's see, we'd have to come up, and if he comes there, he checks. I think, I think moving the rook actually is an error now. <coughs> now that we think about it. I really like, in my opinion, I like that move. I uh, now that I think about it, that move really does the the whole thing, because it's threatening to check, and then checkmate. So you check, and then we can also play. But I don't know the rook's still there. Ugh. See, we can't, if we play here, he actually takes first. <clears throat> and then if we take, he can actually come down and check. And so that's my only concern there. Uh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Cause I, I think that's like, that's our best opportunity of holding everything. Cause if we can keep the pieces on the board, we have three to two. So I'm not. I'm not sure if we want to liquidate because he'll have two pass pawns, which is going to be really hard to stop. But if we keep the material on the board, I think we'll we'd be okay. And then if we played here and he came over to uh, C5 to check, we move our we move our king. So if we go here, here, there, he's gonna have he'd have to go back. And now our now the difference is our queen's here, not there, and so we'd be actually pinning his. Uh, queen to his rook and we have we'd have bishop to e4 so here 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 stop that come on here 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 back bishop to f5 f e4 and we'd be we'd win um, material at that point we win a, a rook for a bishop we'd win it, the whole house at that point yeah, I believe that 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 move makes sense. Great, good find on that. That is a stellar move. I kind of okay. So what you're saying is that's check. Okay. Interesting. So maybe uh, queen to h6. Check. So then king. King E. Okay. Wow. This does change that. Does change everything, doesn't it? And then he checks with the queen. We move up. I think we still have the same sitch in that in that uh, position. I think he'd still have to go back. And again, we. Well. I think it's. I think we can check here. King up. Check. Check 
there, but then the rook would take, wouldn't it? No. Drat, this is this is very complicated of a it's probably pretty simple, we're just overcomplicating it. For some reason I do that. So check that the uh, say queen takes queen takes queen to I don't know, because if we played here, here, there, check, we try to intercept here, it can intercept there, we move up there, then if he comes back to check, we move up, and then if he checks up here, we hit Ashley move there, then if he moves back here, we move our queen, and moves back to there. I guess we can move over. Whew. This is we just have so many checks though. I am so not sure on this line. I do not know. Uh, this is this is like super duper complicated. My brain's not working at a hundred percent right now, so I'm trying to I'm trying to see is there anything else that we can do. We could potentially play. But the only problem is there, then there, and then he takes there, and I think he's winning at that point. So this doesn't work because of there, there, and there. See, if we check here, we check, I'm sorry, 
check here. No, we, there is no check. I don't know what I was thinking there. That's funny. Um, here, there, there. <clears throat> King G2. Queen up check. This queen here slides back down. Check. Slides over. <clears throat> I don't think there's... Well, there might be a check there. And up. Potentially maybe king h3... 6. So, let's give it a go. Okay, so here, here, that works. And we take here. And queen checks. <clears throat> Is it is it uh, King G two? I think it, I think the only move is King G seven at this point. What do you guys think? King G seven? I think that's I think that's the move. If we go King G seven, whatever he tries to check with, we we can actually intercept with our queen. What do you guys think? Queen G7? We gotta decide so that we can uh, finish off this puzzle. Yep, Queen G7. Queen to uh, Queen F. Uh, okay. We'll we'll pop, we'll stop at this point. Oh yeah, you want to look at that line? Okay. Let's go back to to the line. Is it the first line you wanted to look at, or the? <clears throat> Let me see. How far back do you want to... Which one's the line you want to go to? Left checks there. Let, let's, just, let's just see what happens. And if he checks here... Oops, my bad. Not that. It's H2. H3, sorry. And then you're right. We zook swamp him. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's got to go all the way back then. Okay, hold on. I just got to pull up this line. I'm listening to you guys. I just have to make sure I get this line put in. Okay, there, there. So rook takes G. Rook takes rook. King H2. Rook D five. If we go rook D five, he's got queen and rook takes rook check. 
and then okay that that works too oh excellent okay thank you I'll, I'll go through it okay I was trying to find that line there we go okay <clears throat> okay okay there oops wrong one uh, he takes here um, mm, 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 mm. Mark F1, check, so we're so far so good. King H8, G7, I mean, H2, H2, Rook D5, Rook takes Rook, King takes Rook, uh, Queen G4, check, King H2, Queen to a four check. Let's see, did I do that right? I don't know if I'm doing that. Did I do that one right there? There, d five rook takes. Gee, yeah, I got that. King takes g4, king h7, queen h7, rook f5, nice rook, yeah, rook f5, <coughs> if he goes g4, we take his queen, we win. So he's going to have to move his, uh, he'll have to take here. And I think, and I think we're losing at this point. Okay. It's too bad if we, uh, oh, that rook? Okay, the D rook, gotcha. Boom. Yep. There it is. That was an excellent line, guys. Perfect. Good job. So do you want me, do you want to do uh, your line locally? Would you like to do this line here before I log? Or are you guys all good? Are we? Are you guys all good, or do you want to? Do you have another line you want to go over? Hey, good find there, Fox. Any other lines you guys want to go over before uh, I log off? After the check. Let me see here. Oh, you mean G3? Let's see. If he goes to... This is G3. Are you talking about G3? So are you guys all all good? Okay, I got one that's good. Are you guys all good? Do you have any more lines, Fox? Or yeah, or is everything good? Let's see here. G4. How far back is that? Let me see. Uh, 
Oh. I think he takes our bishop at that point. I don't think we have a, uh, let me see. Let's see if he checks. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Let's see, let's go back here. Takes rock. Oh, queen c7. Hold on. Oh, I gotcha. And then queen c7. There, gotcha. King h3. Okay. Then we have a check here. King h3. I think he runs, yeah. That's a yeah, that's a different line. I think he runs in that. Not queen takes. Not queen takes. Okay, so you're wanting after rook takes. Okay. Uh, do 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 rook takes rook takes. Uh. Oh, H gotcha. H2, yeah. I think he runs at that point. I don't think there's any... I see what you're saying. I think he's safe at this point. I don't think there's anything really more... Well, then he could take... Yeah, I. Yeah, there we go. It's something like that. Then he checks. I think we have... Um, I think then we'd have to intercept there. Yeah. You're right. That's exactly it. You you found it. That's actually the the winning line. There's so many winning lines in here. So are we all good on the lines now? Okay. Alrighty. Then with that, I am going to log off for the night. Okay. As uh, Wesley So says, Sir Lord Jesus, and as I say, God bless, guys, and I'll see you next time on Chess Cruncher. We're doing good. Keep studying. Keep getting better. And remember, we only look back to learn. And that's, that's the whole purpose of going over games that we've learned from, or lost that we've learned. And remember that we, uh, as Hannibal Smith says, there's always a plan in the position, and when we find it, you gotta love it. As he says, I love it when a plan comes together, and we do too. Now.